Hey guys, it's me Justin here. Welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I'll be announcing what the mock that I've been planning for a few weeks is going to be. And I guess without further ado, I'll go ahead and say it is Agent Claus from Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Um, this is also in Star Wars Battlefront 2, which is primarily going to be my um, my reference photos and how I'm basing the mock off of. Because we don't really see a battle scene in Episode 9 on that planet. There's uh, you know, a bit of raised training and that's it. But I'm going to go ahead and tackle um, the First Order invasion um, from you know, what we see in Battlefront 2. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. It gives me freedom to go ahead and put what figures I'd like to put in there. Obviously I'm sticking with uh, sequel trilogy figures, so it'll feature figures like my Rey, if it wants to focus on her, there we go. Um, along with potentially a Kylo Ren custom. I might use all, you know, official Lego stuff, but for now the plan um, is to use, you know, some custom elements, because I am a customizer and also a builder, so um, combine the best of both worlds and use that towards my box. So, um, my plan, um, and I guess time frame for this, uh, is going to be, uh, I want to get this done in a year from now, by Brick Fair, Virginia 2021, and I would like to bring it there, although I'm not sure, um, you know, what the world's going to look like, I don't know if there's going to be a convention, but ideally, I finish this mock and I take it there. Um, the size is going to be three, uh, very big splits by five, potentially bigger, um, but for now that's the smallest in building it. And, um, it basically needs to be that small because a mountain for the base. Um, I'm also building a tent for it, and the tent is going to take up quite a bit of resources. It's actually kind of massive. It's going to be 6,000 parts. Um, it's a custom build from Kit Brickstow on Flickr, and I uh, went ahead and got his instructions. I'm super excited to build that, but I threw some modifications for it to fit episode 9. It's a bit different than its appearance in A New Hope. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But yeah, so. Um, Anyway, uh, yeah, it's going to have the Tantive, um, the mountains, 3x3 three three gray, and then I'm having some train in front. I might do some more on the side, I'm not sure yet, so that's where it could vary in size. But either way, we're looking at at least 15 gray, could be up to maybe 25 if I end up just, you know, going all out. But that's the plan at least, and I'm super excited to get that started. Um, I've been ordering parts, I'm still working out the d details on getting everything, so... Currently I have the first order figures, I need to get resistance troopers and just uh, parts and stuff. It's going to be a long process, school is going to interfere, and I'm afraid it's going to be online due to the current um, global pandemic, so I'm preparing to have a much difficult semester than I otherwise would normally have, so let's um, let, you know, pray that it's not actually as bad as it's going to be, or as I'm planning it to be, but either way, I'm hoping to release weekly episodes. Um, or at least when there should be um, something posted. If there's a slow week, I can delay it. But yeah, um, I'm planning on starting this in the next couple weeks, just waiting on some uh, you know details to get worked out. I'm gonna go ahead and do the planning and designing and stuff. I have you know something I want to you know something in my head that I want to get out on paper to show you guys what I'm visualizing here. I'm gonna take a bit of creative freedom with the design, but I'll go over all that in more detail on um, you know week one which, um, like I said, will be in a couple weeks. I have some things to take care of regarding my room. I need to get it prepared for this mock. Um, there's quite a lot of cleaning and just reorganizing because I currently don't have the space for a 15 grade base plate mock. So I just need to figure out how I'm doing that and where I'm gonna film the videos. And yeah, so I've been doing that. Um, I have to get back to that actually so I can go ahead and um, not only you know get started, but also um, just be do stuff in my house again because I have <laughs> Currently made everything a much bigger mess, but anyway, um, that's for future content, weekly updates and whatever, but yeah, I hope you guys um, enjoy this and are excited as, I, as much as I am at least to go ahead and start building Agent Claus. Um, weekly live streams will end up being me building that with some of my friends. Um, I have other friends working on building series too, so I'm really excited to get this started. And I haven't seen anyone take on um, other uh, sequel trilogy era stuff other than, you know, Starkiller Base and Great, so it's going to be interesting to see a larger scale sequel trilogy mock that hopefully ends up doing it justice. But yeah, um, so that's that's it for me. Um, I'm going to go ahead now and get to work on the other stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and hope you guys are excited to see everything going forward. And yeah, just uh, stay tuned. Next couple of weeks I'll be posting on Instagram for when I do plan on uploading the first video. And maybe I'll use the YouTube community tab thing to communicate. But as you know, as of now, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.